not. He's using an ancient technique that goes all the way back to 500 BC. Chester Santos, the 2008 U.S. memory champion, can actually memorize 60 numbers in order four, eight, in under one, five minutes. Two, four, two, five, nine, seven. You got them all exactly okay. right. Okay, that's highly freaky. Now it's my turn to learn this ancient memory technique. All right, bring on the list. Chester takes out a list of 40 random words for me to memorize in order. Monkey, iron, rope, kite, house, paper. That's right. I said 40. Bicycle, elephant, computer, sword, necklace, and pizza. That, that would take me several hours. You will have this perfectly memorized in 10 or less minutes. All right, I just want to be clear for the record. If I don't, it's his fault. Step one. My lesson begins by walking around my living room, making note of objects I see every day, like my beloved grand piano, my favorite chair, and my kid's guitar. Toys really meant to have these cleaned up. Water again. Chester tells me to study these objects because we're about to use them to help me remember those 40 words. The globe and the pillars. Now it's on to step two. Imagine that on top of this piano, there is a monkey dancing on that piano. But you don't just see the monkey dancing around, maybe you even hear the monkey making monkey noises as he's dancing. Because that's the first word, monkey. So picture that, really imagine that happening. Okay. And this monkey picks up a giant iron. How does this strange technique work? We ask a memory expert to explain. We are visual, we are auditory, we have all these different uh, senses, and the more a single piece of information is locked in through the various senses, the better chance it's retained. So the crazier and more vivid the story, the better. Now, at that chair, see a rope attached to a kite. And the kite's flying around in the air. Just picture that. The guitar is smashing into a house. And you discover that the house is made of paper. Further down the list, my tissues are having quite a memorable experience as they get run over by a bicycle with an elephant perched on top. Can you see that? I can. Something's wrong. <laughs> but you will remember this stuff. Yes, sure. I will definitely, definitely that. remember that. <laughs> the time has finally come. I don't I have any particular confidence. This is I have a lot of confidence. Beyond yeah, the monkey. You. I know I got the monkey. So on the piano, we have monkey and iron. And then next to it was a chair, and that had a uh, rope and kite. And then a guitar smashing a house, paper. Lo and behold, as I mentally traverse the room, right. the words come pouring out. A river. That's right. Rock. That's correct. Tree. That's right. Cheese. Correct. But then... There's something about the tissues. Uh, I'm sure it had something to do with smashing. Uh, <laughs> violent. Uh, let's see, the tissues. Uh oh. The tissues were getting run over by. Uh, oh, a bicycle by an elephant. After a close call, I miraculously whizzed through the rest of the list. The necklace and the pizza! Awesome. Great job. That was great. Next year's memory champion, David Poe. Thank you. Thank you.